welcome to the Tournament of the Americas, one of the five regional Olympic basketball qualifying tournaments. Ten countries from the Western Hemisphere are represented here in Portland. Four will move on to Barcelona. It was only two weeks ago that fans here in Portland were rooting for their Western Conference champion Trailblazers against the Chicago Bulls in the NBA Finals. Now they are unified in support of the United States Olympic team. What may well be the best basketball team ever assembled. And here they are, moments away from their international debut. And now, the United States of America. Assistant coaches, P.J. Carlissimo, Mike Krzyzewski, and Lenny Wilkins. The head coach, Chuck Daly. The roster for the United States, a 6'11 forward, Christian Leitner. A 7-1 center, David Robinson. A 7-foot center, Patrick Ewing. A 6-9 forward, Larry Bird. A 6-7 forward, Scotty Pippen. A 6-6 guard, Michael Jordan. A 6'7 guard, Clyde Drexler. Six one guard John Stockton. A six seven forward Chris Mullen. A six six forward Charles. And a 6'9 guard, Urban Magic Johnson. ovation for a group that many refer to as the dream team and the likely scenario would have the United States plus 300 other countries qualify from this group of 10 that is divided into two pools of five teams apiece so the end result by next Sunday four of these countries will make it to Barcelona today's starting lineups brought to you by Shea all right, for Cuba, the starting guards, last night's hero, Jose Diaz, along with Leonardo Perez. Up front, Lazaro Farrell, who is very well regarded, and Yudit Abreu, 
And the starting center for Cuba is Andres Gilbert. The coach is Miguel Calderon, who says our height isn't at the world level, level, but our speed and quickness certainly is. For the United States, Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan open in the backcourt. Chuck Daly's starting lineup, Larry Bird and Charles Barkley at the forward positions. And David Robinson at center, making it back from the surgically repaired thumb. And there is the coach of the United States basketball team, Chuck Daly, now the head coach of the New Jersey Nets after with vast international experience. And in the white uniform, Magic Johnson controls the tip. Here's Larry Bird backing in, goes to the fadeaway. Michael Jordan, rebounded by Robinson. Charles Barkley. And the United States off to the 4 0 lead. Size, strength of these two teams. Cuba is not a physical team. They're a very small team as far as the width and girth. And that is a three pointer for the starting center, Andres Gilbert. It's 19 9. Bird will inbound. 4 0 for the United States. Here's Magic. And he's hacked. On the subject of the difference in rules under international rules as we run it down well the distance from the nba three-point line is a little bit three about two and a half three feet uh, difference from the fiba court there is a another one of the differences when you foul taking a three-point attempt you receive three free throws rather than just two as in the nba the international basketball association it will be 91 feet crowd wanted to travel but the air ball was tossed by burrell johnson leading the break finds Robinson. Once you defensive rebound with guys like Robinson and Larry Bird and then have a point man in the middle, like Magic running the show, you know you're going to get some easy scores for the U.S. Bob Perez understands that. Diaz trying the three. Cubans have been hoisting three-pointers. Here's Barkley. Larry Bird with the outlet and Barkley was hit. He is going after every defensive rebound, spreading bodies, and then he just outlets the ball about a 45-foot hook pass to Barkley on the move. Perhaps a little uh, traveling music for Charles. Case, uh, he has emerged as the uh, the team comedian. And we'll be hearing from Charles a, a bit later on. He has been serious, though, about his basketball. That is Abreu, he played by Burr. Diaz, yes, Jose Diaz, who has position, and they know who their go-to guys are, and each of these players has the ability, one-on-one, -on -one, to get a basket. Now Cuba, to the offense, led by Perez, throws the three up, and rebounded by Jordan. Perez may have realized that's, that may be his best opportunity to get an open look in transition. Magic with the pass that misfired, Jordan with the behind. United States with a 12-5 lead, four minutes have gone by. For the U.S., it is their debut in the Tournament of Americas. Nice move by Yudit Abreu. Yudit came on strong in the second half. Bird is wide open. That's a, That's a shot as other international competition will certainly uh, learn. You just cannot give that effort by Michael Jordan. First of all, just getting to this basketball, then trying to save it, and then saving it with a behind-the-back pass to Larry Bird, who you know he's going to make the shot once he you know, gets the opportunity. Nice fake by Perez. Leonardo Perez. His own defense, getting out of the man's man. This is one of the things that the U.S. team has worked and worked against. Another pretty feed from Magic Johnson. Their first look at the zone defense, U.S. goes into their zone attack, and nothing easier than finding David Robinson down on the low block for a deuce. Has looked sharp here at the start. It's a four-on-two. Perez for the pull-up, and rebounded by Jordan. Oh, a bullet from Magic to Barkley! Very little offensively, but he triggered the fast break with the outlet pass. Abreu, and rebounded by Johnson. Barkley from Bird. Barkley on the move. And that time your defensive rebound, it was Magic Johnson who starts the break with the outlet pass. Barkley. 
Gilbert went to the hook. Johnson sweeps the board. Magic for Barkley. United States 25, Cuba 9. We'll check in. Barkley has 12 points in this first half. And Barkley fires for Robinson. David Robinson will go to the line. He was hit by Andres Gilbert. Spectacular pass with a cross-court diagonal look to Charles Barkley with the dunk for a finish. Or he can make it very simple. Keep the ball as long as possible to the last second, make the defense commit, and then just drop it off for another deuce. It counts the same on the scoreboard either way. He bound it. We know Robinson runs the floor so well, so Chuck Daly can let Robinson take off and be the first big man down the floor, let Jordan and Barkley fill the lanes on the outside. Clyde Drexler to the scorer's table, and he will hear it as he enters. A standing ovation for the hometown favorite. Burrell guarded by Mullen. That's Morales with the ball. Puts the move on Carl Malone. Felix Morales hitting on the turnaround. United States 27, Cuba 11. This afternoon for Urban Magic Johnson. Five assists in his stint here in the first half. Even his teammates were curious to see his condition after Magic sat out this entire season. That's a subject we discussed with him. I wanted to check me out. And uh, that was fine because I liked that. I like I loved the pressure coming in, letting everybody see where I was. And I think they were um, kind of surprised at the shape I was in and that I could still do the things that uh, I'm used to doing. With that near steal, the air ball handled by Malone. And here's Pippen on a three-on-one, finding Stockton off the Drexler. Yes, and it counts. Having an assist is out in front, and Stockton knows that he's playing in Portland, and Drexel's got a chance to score. They all make the right decisions. You know, back to the scrimmages against the uh, college players, most of the NBA players came away praising Chris Webber. They were zone defense, three-point shots especially. United States uh, with possession following a three-second violation. Carl Malone with his first field goal, United States with a 32-11 lead. Suffered a dislocated thumb, jamming his right thumb against the rim during practice uh, this past week. Went up for a shot that was blocked by Malone. The thumb will remain in a splint. He'll miss at least the first three games of this tournament. Force ready for Barcelona. Matudel with a three-point field goal. Alberto Matudel, 28 in 1983. And a reach-in foul call against Cuba. You mentioned Mikey as Carl at the uh, center position and also will go with Christian Leitner at the center. The United States team, earlier in the week during practice, they were actually guilty of overpassing, trying so hard to do the right thing. This is Perez who made his return. Fast break, Brixler by himself. Well, I think Scotty Pippen said it best. He said there is nothing for us to prove individually on this team. The only thing for us to do is win a gold medal and do it collectively as a team. And I, there's no question that's what they're setting out to do. Share the basketball. Mullen. Yes. Chris Mullen of the Golden State Warriors. Oh. Richard Matienzo. The look away finding Pippen. The United States 40 and Cuba 16. A couple to the zone and zone back to man to man, but when you catch him in between, that's what's going to happen with the Stockman out there. Juan Caballero. And the United States leads 40 18. Mullen for three. Yes. Chris Mullen, a member of the 1984 gold medal winning team. And short three pointer instead gives it up to Mullen, a better perimeter shooter. Richard Matienzo. United States right back to the court here tomorrow night. They will play Canada. Tuesday they go up against Panama. Here's Malone and he is fouled.
passes they had to throw against the zone defense before he expected a shot to go up. And with runners like Drexler getting out in front, points will come easy for the United States. Michael Jordan, low-key first half, has not scored. Michael so accustomed to being the star, the focal point. Now he's one of 12 standouts, and I talked to him about that. Yeah, I accept that. Except that I want to be just a part of the team. I want to be just one of the boys. I don't want to stand above none of these other guys. Uh, you know, I just want to be on the same level with these guys. So I'm not looking at myself to, to, to be the, the guy to carry or the focal point of this team. I just want to fit right in with the other 11 guys and, and be a part of the team. Michael coming off another storybook season, winning his third Most Valuable Player Award, taking MVP honors in the NBA Finals once again. And he, a, a key member and captain of that 1984 gold medal winning team for the U.S. in Los Angeles. Michael said he had no problem with it. Yeah. Interesting that uh, Chuck was sensitive to Michael on this. Then again, uh, told him it was the... Uh, <laughs> The smart thing to do. Stockton on the break. Finding Pippen. And it's a charging foul. Scotty Pippen is called for the personal, and he is shaken up. From the Coliseum in Portland, Stockton with an open three. And back comes Cuba in the red and white. Rojas. Eliezer Rojas. Do I want to pick out that's most open? Once he puts it on the floor and dribble penetrates, he's got two or three people open each time. Brexler penetrating, yes. And it counts. Uh, the idea is to try and force the teams to shoot from the outside. But when you let dribble penetration like this take place, then you're really not accomplishing very much defensively. That is his fourth personal. Brexler with... Another three-point play. The starting unit for the U.S. about to check back in. How'd you like to be Miguel Calderon, the Cuban coach? You're down 48-22, and now you look at the uh, starters along with Christian Leitner, who will come on for the first time. You can't get too close to my voice to foul. <laughs> you haven't committed a foul in almost a year and a half, man. I hear you talk. <laughs> My goodness. I don't think you ever fouled out of a game. When do you ever foul out of a game? Sees him on the court. He has that uh, the look, the game face. And a pushing foul is called as uh, Leitner received the ball along the uh, baseline. The fifth guy on that unit. Not bad, huh? Leitner has reacted well. He's been very well liked over the uh, course of the week of, of practice. Perfect. And will help lead Duke to two straight NCAA championships. The game, his knowledge of the game. Hey, hey, uh, the Cubans hey. back to the offense. Matienzo was hacked. People to make him put it on the floor. First appearance at the free throw line for Cuba. In this first half, and the United States leading by the count of 50 to 24. Leitner from Johnson. Yes, and it counts. Occasionally, they used it last night against Canada. It was effective in changing the tempo of the game in the second half. And that time, the first time they used it against the United States. Play. Shot clock at five. Here's Diaz for three. And Leitner off the board. Leitner. Barkley on the follow. The people working that hard, it happens. Well, Diaz trying to go behind the back, trying to split through, and he's called for the traveling violation. For three minutes remaining of the half. Bird again passing on the three. Leitner for Barkley. And he is fouled. Chance to play his way into the top five of the draft. We talked about this uh, with half. Machadel and Barkley with the rebound. It's a four on two. Johnson behind the back. Barkley could handle it. Here comes Machadel. And the victory last night. A comfort behind effort against Canada. Bird for three. In the NBA. Michael Jordan popping it down to Christian Leitner. We approach one minute remaining in the first half. And the foul called on Bird. Field of 10 countries. Four will qualify. 
for the Olympics. Another look at it, Spain, the uh, host country. China, Angola, Australia, four from the European tournament and four more from the uh, tournament of the Americas here in Portland. By Jordan with the steal, and that is his first basket. The shooter behind the three-point line, Magic that time, making the defensive rotation, forcing him to put it on the floor. Bird for three. Yes! His third from downtown, Larry Bird from Magic Johnson to conclude the first half. It's back to the locker room with the United States in its opening game in command to the tune of 67-27 at halftime. Coming up, Bob Costas and Bob will be visiting with Carl Malone. The United States 23 for 36 from the field, 60 4% shooting, Cuba at 35%, U.S. 17 of 20 from the uh, free throw line, had the edge off the boards, had the edge in, in every department, and the 67 underway in international play. There are two 20-minute halves, Mullen for a straightaway three. United States now five of nine in the three-point shot. Cuba, two of nine. This is Gilbert. And he lost it. He tried to back in on Robinson. The problem is you get the ball down the low post. You start to back David Robinson in. Then you say to yourself, where am I going with this? Malone was hit. Midway during the first half. He then picks up his fourth. Has to sit out the rest of the first half. Comes back in and plays the remainder of the game without picking up another foul. And he came on strong. United States with a 72-27 lead. A beautiful lead pass. Why Drexel when he picked it up never even hesitated. He knew it. And back comes Abreu. Here's Perez. Leonardo Three. Perez, Cuba's best all-around scorer. He ever this afternoon. He's an explosive player who plays in streaks as David Robinson. Davis that you mentioned, Mullen, able to clear it out. Look away pass from Stockton. Oh, well, that's a combination that the fans here in Portland are accustomed to seeing with the rivalry between Utah and Portland. Carl Malone and John Stockton able to team up. Mullen with a steal. Stockton has Mullen. Goes the other way. Clyde was trailing the play. And who led the league in assists and steals. Leading the NBA in assists for five straight years. Average just under... 14 assists per game. A moment ago for the United States team, the transition game. Stockton knows his big man, his partner, Carl Malone, the mailman, is going to be running down the middle of the floor hard, so he's always looking for him. And then when you think he's going right, instead he goes left to Clyde for the finish. Good. And there is the Tark, Jerry Tarkanian, who will be handling David Robinson as the new head coach of the San Antonio Spurs with a splint on his left thumb. Stockton able to jump out for the steal. Malone for Mullen. Your defense like this can just discourage teams, take them out of everything they're trying to do. And Drexler leads the break. Stockton. United States. There's no question, Mark, that this team is far superior to the other teams as far as the basketball abilities of the players. But you mentioned that there are stronger teams. The Brazil team is very big, very strong, a very experienced international team. Puerto Rico as well feels that they play well against the U.S. players. He approaches uh, this tournament. The distribution of minutes to make sure that everyone is is happy to take a look at uh, the average minutes per game of this all-star studded squad during the course of the regular season from the uh, free throw line we went back to the archives to check this out the biggest point differential ever for the united states in olympic play 72 point spread back in 1956 the u.s defeating Thailand 101 to 29 a United States team that included Clyde Drexler so the six team included Bill Russell and Casey Jones Perez 
So the United States leads now 88 to 32. Six minutes gone by in the second half. And it's gotten to the point in the, uh, in the second half, the U.S. now leading 90 to 34. When this U.S.A., another turnover taking place. When this U.S.A. The United States with 31 points cashing in on turnovers. Perez and Robinson able to control off the boards. Again, the U.S. on a break. Stockton. It counts. And the foul. The long outlet pass takes place, and when you can outlet the ball to the half court mark, you know you're going to get your players out on the break, and a big man like Malone running the floor. National team, he was a member of the squad that upset the United States in its opening game of the 1971 Pan American Games, and this is his first international coaching experience. Took over the coaching duties only eight months ago. Johnson with eight assists. And Malone with the rebound, fires down. Here's Drexler for Robinson. Make it 97-34. Well, going into this competition, there were basketball people who said no question it would be a series of blowouts. Drexler again, and the foul. The severity of this type of blowout was expected because uh, I think if you went over to the Cuban bench and asked Coach Miguel Calderon, would you like to stop this right now? I think he would say yes. Obviously, there is nothing uh, that can be done. A, a lane violation was called, but Drexler got the second opportunity. And the United States with a 100 to 34 lead, the Cuban team with the uh, thought that a timeout was called and that and the Cubans are back in action tomorrow afternoon they go up against Panama United States facing Canada tomorrow night that's a foul on Robinson got a piece of Alberto Machadel just under 12 minutes remaining of the game and Michael Jordan Magic Johnson is back and that won't count so Michael Jordan with his most explosive move of the day, but he was fouled before the shot attempt. Caballero. Well, I think everyone in this building has been waiting for Michael to do something explosive. Unfortunately, the whistle locked down. Juan Caballero, the brother of uh, Angel Caballero, called for the uh, foul and the steal by Angel Caballero. Jordan behind him. But Adam Keith, Tracy Murray all on that squad. Nice fake. On Jordan, good play by Juan Caballero. And uh, Cuba has actually unleashed five unanswered points. Scotty Pippen. Scotty Pippen. 13. Jordan able to break it up. John Stockton with 11 assists. Caballero. Bird open. Yes. Harry was in the right-hand corner, just dropped it off for the open jumper. Pippen with the steal, could hold on, Machidel able to recover. Last touch by Bird. Eight on the shot clock play. Rojas and Bird with the rebound. Gets to Pippen. Pippen over to Jordan, through the foul. Well, six players have been able to win an NCAA title, an NBA championship, and a, a college championship. The six, including a fellow by the name of Quinn Buckner. Nice setup. Ten minutes remaining in the ball game. Barkley posting up. And he was hacked down the play. The artist was doing it for the most part from close in. Have a little quiz for you. Yes. You named the six players. 8.20 remaining of the game, and the U.S. leading 108-41. Jordan off the fake. Michael Jordan with a spectacular move, going to a second option to 41. Morales 
crunch. Look out. Well, Michael was determined to make something happen here to get their crowd a little bit more involved than they've been. So how about a little double clutch pulled away from the defensive man and kiss it off the rim and backboard. Jordan with the pullback, the concentration, elude the defense, and knock it down. Collection of talent, but not only that, when you have talent like this, talent's willing to play together, and I think it's very evident out here. Uh, many times they almost pass up the shot they should normally take, but it's fun to watch them play, and um, it, I think this is going to be great, not only for basketball worldwide, but I think the NBA fans would love to see something like this, and that's why everyone's so excited about this team. And that's why we're here watching, too, and <laughs> Well, we've been asleep for a while now. <laughs> Jerry, thanks a lot. Back to you, Mark. All right, in the game of the United States with a 110-43 lead. And the U.S. showing a little zone defense right here, working on some of the things that Chuck was able to put in in practice yesterday for the first time. A U.S. zone defense. He had to put it in because he had to work against it. Leonardo Perez hitting a three-pointer. Magic Johnson able to come right back. Easy penetration for the Magic man. United States using a little 1-2-2, two, 3-2 two, two, flat zone. Back feed, Pippen takes from Jordan. Gilbert being hounded by Barkley. And Barkley out of the pack. Barkley all the way. Drew the foul. I'm here with JoJo White. And JoJo, you played on the 1968 Olympic team, but I got to ask you, have you ever seen a group that plays as well together as this group? Well, this is awesome. Uh, it's almost embarrassing. You look at the score. Uh, I, I, it's really exciting for the fans to see this magnitude of talent all together to perform for the United States. So it's, it's kind of incredible, and uh, uh, we're seeing history in the making. What, do you, what is the thing that sticks out the most about this team to you? Well, I, I think the guys themselves are excited about representing their country, and for the first time, we ever had our pro team pitted against uh, the other country's pros. So uh, it, it's very, very exciting. I don't really see any competition at all. Well, I, I tend to agree with you. I want to thank you, JoJo. Oh, back to you, Marvin. Well, the only Cuban player in double figures, Leonardo Perez, with 10 points. The high man for the United States, Charles Barkley, with 20 advance to the Olympics in Barcelona. Magic trying to hit Barkley. And back comes Gilbert. Bird with the steal. Pippen for Barkley. One of the NBA's most versatile players. Man who has redefined the small forward position. Chuck Daly uh, telling everybody how impressed he has been with, with Scotty Pippen. Not that way. In a meaningless situation. Practice under the you know, conditioning and getting this stuff down. 49. They led 67 27 at halftime. Bird from Pippen. Pick and then move to the basket wide open and then the look and pass the conversion factor. Well, Perez showing that shooting touch that we talked about earlier. Another three attempted. Here's Barkley. With 3.46. Remaining of the game. When someone at 6'5 picks up the ball, you don't expect he's just going to take it and dunk it over the top of you, but Sir Charles certainly can. I'm here with Frank Leuven, who did play in 1936. We talk about international competition. And for Lithuania, one of the teams that everyone says can compete with this American team, this is the godfather. Frank, what do you think about the pros playing there? Well, first off, I think the United States, what I've seen of them today, they're too too good for anybody to compete with them but i must mention my role in the, one of the teams that might give them a scare i coached in lithuania for three years after the first olympics in 1936 1939 we won the european ba uh, basketball tournament myself uh i was player captain and everything scored the particular basket to beat the former champions by one point and then all my students thereafter we're absorbed by we're absorbed by Russia in 1940. I had to get out of the country. I stayed there for three years coaching, and so the, but Russia, not known to have the basketball team in 1952, absorbed the uh, the Latvians, the Estonians, and the Lithuanians, and they gave the Americans a scare in Helsinki.
they, lost, they gave them a, uh, the score was uh, by 11 points they lost to the United States and going on in history a lot of my a lot of my students were coaching and today whoever beat the United States in the Olympics in 1988 do you know? I know about it. Oh, you know all that history. Four of my Lithuanians were on that Russian team. Today, they've they've got their independence. Lithuania, a small nation of three million people. They've got these all these uh, Lithuanians back from Russia and playing for Lithuania now, including Marcelonis, Sabonis, big six, seven foot, two inch man, and they beat the Russians last night by. 30 some points and they wanted to make it 54 points showing that that's how long Russia dominated over the Lithuanians but they didn't quite reach it but they're a dominant factor in this okay, okay. well Frank I don't mean to interrupt you but we want to get back to the game but we hope that Lithuania does well they'll get a chance hopefully to play the Americans and we'll see if they come along thanks a lot Mark I didn't realize that Frank Lubin had joined our broadcast team I quit it Frank going for their own oh. special yes on <laughs> On Friday night, 2:35 remaining of the game. Nice follow by Caballero. Stockton getting down. That was all set to give Frank uh, the close. He could have taken us right off the air. With Malone and Malone up front, Stockton and Rexler in the backcourt. Alberto Macchiarello. Well, a look at the Miller Genuine Draft play of the game that's taking place in the first half off the same by Michael Jordan going behind the back, finding Larry Bird, and he's able to hit the three. The rejection by Trexler. That gets the crowd going. Well, I kind of likes the defensive aspect of the game. Send Alone from Stockton, it counts, and the foul. For Thailand, 100-129, that was back in, in 1956. The United States team led by Bill Russell and, and Casey Jones, and this is now a 73-point lead for the United States. Matt Jadel, and Nagreen over Mullen. Leitner able to get to it. Stockton from Mullen. Stockton saving it. Here's Mullen. And he's bottled up. Stockton on the recovery. Malone is fouled. Star, he and John Stockton leading Utah to the Midwest Division title this past season. And then they were defeated. I'm going to keep it alive. Machadel. Just got a piece of the glass. Stockton ahead of the field. 134 to 57. Green putting the move on Mullen. Along with the rebound. And that will wrap it. Wrexler with a count. Yes, it does. States 136. And Cuba 57. We'll be back in Portland in a moment. By way of the Portland Trailblazers, Clyde Drexler off the bench to hit 8 of 9. He finished with 20 points and 7 assists. Actually, you could have taken your pick. A host of stars for the U.S. men's Olympic basketball team as they defeat Cuba by the score of 136-57. We'll be right back.